Okay, let's talk about... Let's talk about how do you escape? How do you guys, not me, I'm already free. How, how do you guys escape? Or as far as myself, how do I, how did I escape? Or how did I, uh, how did I become or stay free? Who kept me, who preserved me? Uh, obviously it's for a reason. Uh, cho chosen to do a great work as some people, or I should say the whole world by now, um, is programmed through torture, gassing, zapping, and whatever else they do to you guys, uh, as to worship the fake antichrist Japanese Jesus and false gods who renounce Jesus of the Bible, but they still use it. Uh, <laughs> um, I want to read this as I post it. Let me go to my what I shared earlier. Okay, um, this is the difference between being chosen and called. Okay, so as I do, as I am the king for the king of kings, and I called people into the kingdom, and that's my job. That's my that's my low level job, but it's actually a high level. It, it looks like a low level, but it's not. It's actually the highest level. So that's the, that's the, before your eyes, you would never really understand it until I showed you. Okay, so, I'll get the fuck out of here. Okay. Okay. So, slaves of righteousness. It means, like John the Baptist. John the Baptist, Luke chapter 1, he was baptized in the Holy Spirit in the womb of Elizabeth so he was a slave of righteousness he John the Baptist didn't have a choice John the Baptist didn't have a choice but to live for Jesus he had the Holy Spirit okay uh, so that's what you guys are struggling with okay uh, oh, of course because you're in the trap of the beast and because you're called you answer the call, but you're still, as the Bible says, your your soul's free, but physically, earthly, you're a slave to the police department. You know, you're a sex slave. You're a drug slave. You're a you're all, you're a murder. You're a murder gangster slave. You're a satanic witch slave to the police department, to the synagogue of Satan, black and whites. Uh, and so, you're free. Your soul's free from that. But earthly, physically speaking, they still enslave you guys, okay? And and they they live by images. They use Instagram, computers, TV. Everything promotes images of lies. Uh, just let it be. It is what it is. It's for a season. Uh, but so you guys were called. You guys answered the call. Uh, John the Baptist was chosen. Jesus obviously was chosen. Uh, Anyone by birth was chosen. Okay. Um, I'd say... I'd say Paul was chosen. Jesus called him, but God knew he was going to get saved. So, future in the future sense, he was chosen. God knew he was going to repent and follow after him. Okay. Um, Judas, the traitor for money... Judas who betrayed Jesus and the disciples and he betrayed the whole ministry for the shekels of silver uh, No, he was he was <laughs> He was not chosen to do a good work. He was used He was used to do to fulfill prophecy and that's what these guys are doing and any girl any girl who uh, is against us as to allow wickedness to use them and to just continue to continue attacking the church to continue attacking uh, the, the prophecy the salvation's power of God's word okay so that only leads that only leads you know where that's going to lead straight to hell with all the rest of them okay so uh, but on this side as anyone who was foreordained and chosen as myself and back full of the Holy Spirit have no choice I'm a slave of righteousness. I'm a slave of Jesus. I'm God's property. I have to bring Jesus Christ glory. When I see and I hear fake gods, I'm going to say something. 
because I know the real God. Okay, so um, that's the difference. You guys are called many, uh, many, 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 many are called, but the chosen are few. Okay, uh, we all go to heaven, but I'm just showing you guys the difference. As I'm a slave of righteousness, I have to do this. Okay, so I have to do this, and I like it. As you can see, uh, another testimony of that would be, uh, how, okay, so we have scripture, we have John the Baptist, we have uh, scripture, we have this scripture, Slaves of Righteousness, okay, and I, as a testimony, not just scripture, but as a testimony, um, I can't be, I can't be, uh, I can't be a beast worshiper, I cannot I can never be witch, Satanist, murderer, gangster. I can never be a. I can never be an antichrist. I can never be anti-salvation. I can never be a persecutor of the church. I can never do that. I can't. I can't be a doctor, lawyer, athlete. I was smelted since I was born. I've been a target because I was dumb. I didn't know nothing about witchcraft, and everyone around me just basically used me to as a smelter everywhere I went, and so. I can't be anything in the world. I can't own a business. I can't do anything. So, it's it's if you look at it, God did this. The only thing I could do is preach, pray, prophesy. That's it. Okay. The only thing I could do is preach, pray, prophesy. I can't go into the world and be successful in the beast. So, what do you say? It's obviously, obviously, this is meant for me. Obviously, I'm not a part of the Roman Eagle government, and I'm not a part of their goon, the gangs, the same things. The Roman Eagle belongs to the uh, government, the synagogue of Satan. It's the same thing. Uh, so, I can't be a part of that. So, it's like God made this happen. Okay. And so, the life, our lives, my life testifies that God is doing something. Okay. And so, and that's what it's about. It's about the Word of God. It's about who God is, who we are, and identifying who we are, and, and seeing, um, recognizing what God did, and how God pre-planned this as to keep me away from the beast and the Roman eagle. Okay, so um, that's that's a clear testimony. This is a clear witness that I can't go out and do these things. I can't go out and do anything else. In other words, I can't become a fisherman. I can't own a boat. I can't own a restaurant. I can't do... I can't sell merch. I can't do nothing without being involved in corruption. But I could do this because this is God's. This is our territory. This is God's territory. Okay. If they censor it, uh, it's further down into hell for them. So, nevertheless, I sent the word out and I posted it. Like for example, if you if you look at my profile and you're a supervisor. Your police department, B supervisor, zaps you, gashes you, or punishes you for for taking a look at my uh, videos or for looking at my profile. They don't want you to look at it. Probably for for one, it exposes the beast. For two, they're gonna take what they want out of it and try to be like me, as Mr. Anderson of the Matrix with a bunch of copycats. Okay. Uh, nevertheless, uh, so. Um, Let's talk about prosperity. Okay, prosperity. And let's before we read Proverbs 28, 13, uh, let's go back to Romans 10, 3. How do we become righteous, brothers and sisters? Uh, we enter the uh, everlasting covenant, which Jesus set up for us, which is consists of his body, his blood, and his waters, and the four horns of the cross, and the whole, the whole work. 
the crucifixion, the death, the burial, the resurrection, the ascension to heaven, even pertains to the rapture, the baptizing of the Holy Spirit he sent on Pentecost and the Chag Shabbat, the Feast of Weeks. Okay, this is how we become righteous. We enter in the covenant of this work. Okay, and uh, here it says Romans ten three, in the literal, for being ignorant, they the beast is ignorant of the righteousness and holiness of God. They sought out to establish their own way. They they do not submit to God's righteousness. They don't submit to us. They continue with lies. All I gotta do, all I gotta do every day, all I gotta do is go to Instagram and look at it. Okay, a yellow phone. Oh, um, goddamn. Okay. Activity. A fake Jesus. Okay, a yellow dress. Ugly as heck. Fake, fake Japanese Jesus. Antichrist is happening. One of them, anyways. Okay. Brainwash of the Lodge. Brainwash of the Lodge. Fake, fake Japanese Jesus. Leading God's daughters, trying to lead God's daughters to hell with his sorry ass. <laughs> right? Ridiculous. Okay. Anyways. Uh, so they have their they created their own way the synagogue of Satan they create their own way the the system I mean, you can't pin it on one person if, if the only thing that falls on the one person is that he's dumb enough to believe it that's what falls on it as some girl posted I don't need a cult these girls post for them and I don't see their profile anywhere I don't see their profile anywhere they send a whole bunch of profiles to me, but I don't see their profiles of these guys claiming to be angels and gods and Jesuses. I don't see their profiles anywhere. Um, and somebody sent it to me so I could see what they're talking about. Okay, uh, I, I would like to see what they're posting, if, if they're posting anything, if they even have an account. And as You know what I'm saying? It's like this. God doesn't... Uh, God... God's representatives would not hide, but they go and, and preach in public. This is all subliminal, cowardly. This is what I don't like about it. Number one, we come forefront, up front, and tell you the gospel and who God is. This is all sissy, cowardice. Okay, all subliminal, sideways, subliminal, coward, sissy. I want to see it up front. Put your put the face. Put your profile, let me see it, put it on my newsfeed, let me see and post everything you claim to be. So I could so I could share it and I could and I have something else to work with. But all this is all sissy, it's cowardice, and it's sideways and it's sneaky. As Satan is crafty. When Satan came to Eve like this, look, let's go let's go to Genesis uh, three one. Let's look how Satan works, brothers and sisters. This is how you know this is Satan, which you already know it's Satan because you sold your soul. Uh, you sold your soul to these guys. They try to buy it. You already know what it is, but just for the sake of talk, for the sake of doctrine, for the sake of the video, and for the sake of the children, let's look at how Satan works, brothers and sisters. Uh, we're going to go to Jude, uh, I think 1-4. Next, so Nahash, Satan Nahash, Nashak Nahash, Behem Matanin, all those false gods, fake Elohim, fake Holy Spirits, all these people who are sideways, they're subliminal, and the system of corporate Babylon, I don't, I don't want to blaspheme in America, God bless America, God bless America, and God bless uh, our presidents, and, pray, and cover them in the blood of Jesus. Uh, pull the presidents out. Pull the presidents. I'm pulling the presidents out of this mess. All of them. All the presidents that are alive. Uh, bless them in the blood of Jesus. And all the presidents that are alive. All the families. The blood of Jesus over there. Uh, striking the beast hard. Blood of Jesus. Ben Adam Yeshua. Maya Chaya. Ruach Okay. Holy Spirit upon you guys. 
I'm pulling you guys out of the beast. I'm sick of it. I'm striking the beast hard and pulling all the presidents. I'm tired of this shit. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. I'm tired of this nonsense. Um, the system. The system is. God bless America. And we're talking about corporate Babylon and the empires of Rome and Babylon. And the synagogue, synagogue of Satan, it, falls, it all falls under the black and white synagogue of Satan and their false counsel of wickedness. And whoever runs, if they have a master, leader, whatever. Yeah, I care less. Serpents, Hashatan, Nahash, was... He was very cunning and crafty. Okay, he's sneaky. He's sub subtile. He's he's subliminal. He's okay. He's he's very sneaky. He he's smooth with words and letters. But you just look at what he's trying to get us to do is to partake in wickedness. Okay. So, Nahash Hayaka Aru Mikol in Behema. Okay, they try to take the Hayas. Okay. And it says, He says to Keisha, my wifeies, and he said to Eve in the garden, Okay, he says, uh, it says, uh, he said to the woman, indeed, he said, <clears throat> God said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And said the woman to the serpent, uh, did, did he? And God said to the woman, the serpent, the fruit of the tree of the garden we may eat, but the fruit in the middle of the garden, he said not to eat it. Okay. You shall not touch it, lest you die. And what's the middle of the garden? It's your temple. That's the mark of the beast. Nahash Hashak Nahash. Okay, mean Kobehematanin. And it says Temotun. Mi peri ha et ashed betok hagan amar Elohim lo tokelu mi menu welo tigeu bo pen temotun. Okay, don't eat it, you should die. And the middle, the center, represents the brain. The center represents your heart. And taking the forbidden fruit. Okay. So this is called forbidden fruit. And this fruit is forbidden. The mark of the beast, Revelation 13, 14, and 19. It's forbidden to do this sorcery. Nahash, Hashak, Nahash. Okay. And says... The serpent to the woman, uh, die, uh, not die. He says, he says not. Why am I nachash el isha chavachaya lo mot temutun? He says, he says, uh, don't worry, you're not gonna die. But what he means is, what he means is that you're not going to die instantly. So Satan, Satan makes the truth with the lie. Uh, the lie is, God said don't eat it, but he's telling him to eat it. That's the lie. The truth is, you're not going to die instantly like right now. You see? So children, boys and girls, this is the sneakiness and this is why and we analyze we analyze everything, and let's look at it. Uh, how long did how long did they last? About nine hundred years. It says Adam lived nine hundred and thirty years, and then he died. So Satan got him. He was supposed to live forever in paradise. The first Adam died because of sin from Satan. Okay. So this is what these black and whites are doing 
uh, to my generation of people, to God's favorite generation. They're trying to kill you. They're all they're all little snakes. All these all these little all, all these councils, all these rulers, black and whites, all these ones of the sirens, fire department, police department, all these who try to lead us to a fake Jesus. All those that claim to be Kofed, still they claim to be Kofed. I already did that video. Jesus is Kofed atonement. Just type in uh, propitiation and atonement in the New Testament. Okay. Uh, it doesn't take much. Just type in Jesus' atonement scriptures. It'll take you there. Okay. All these guys are all little snakes. Big fat snakes. Little snakes. Whatever. They're leading. They're trying to lead my people and my generation of God's people with them to hell because they're reptilian snakes. They're the seed of Satan, snakes Nephilim, uh, because they allow Satan in them. Okay. God created everybody, but once you let Satan in, you're a reptilian. Okay. And not so for young people. For young people, uh, God bless you, young people. You're not snakes. You're God's best generation. I'm talking about older, old people who are rulers and police departments, fire departments, all the government who are and in industry, nasty old people in the industries, seducing girls with money, seducing with tours, and trapping them there, not allowing them to ever serve God. Or you end up like Craig Mack. You end up like Craig Mack, or you end up like some rapper who turns Christian okay when you turn Christian you end up getting killed okay so um, these snakes are just a whole bunch of Satan's Genesis 3 and Adam was supposed to live forever uh, Adam and Eve the first one they were supposed to live forever in paradise but sin and death came in, the weeds, bugs and weeds and death, okay, and, and poison mushrooms and poisons and probably intoxications of marijuana and all these things came in because of sin and death. Weeds started to grow. The earth was perfect. Everything was perfect. They were going to live forever. But sin and death came in and the earth changed. Okay. So, and for those who are... For those who are trying to say God created poison or God created this, uh, God created marijuana, God created all this stuff, uh, I'm just going to leave it at this, that God created the earth perfect with no poison to live for men and women to live forever, and they failed. They gave in to Satan, and they let sin into the world. And sin and death and poisons and intoxications and things like that okay so the days of the first Adam were 930 years he died so so the snakes the snakes they're very crafty, they're cunning, they come in and say, don't worry, and we know the letters, don't worry, we're the lodge, we have all the secrets, don't worry, we have scrolls in Rome, and don't worry, we know what we're, no they don't, uh, no they don't know what they're doing, and they don't know how to get to the kingdom of God or paradise, and yes, they do know what they're doing, as to corrupt the whole world and drag it to hell. So that's how confused they are. They're trying to go to heaven, but they can't because they're too corrupt, Nephilim. So they just drag everyone to hell with them as if possible. Okay, so that's how Satan works. These are a bunch of snakes. I actually had a dream. I actually had a dream. I had a dream right here by these trash cans in the backyard. I was walking in the backyard and I saw a whole bunch of snakes. I saw a whole bunch of snakes, and I think I was with the brother from church. I was with the brother from church in the dream, and I started grabbing the shovel. I grabbed the shovel, and I started chomping the heads off, and it kept moving. <clears throat> they kept moving. They weren't, they weren't dying. <clears throat> so 
if I take that, it, it fits perfectly to the prophecy that we're talking about. That the beast is dead, but they are they're still moving. You see? So now the dream comes, the king, the dream comes into play now. And this was um this was about between I was I told the guy from church, so man, that had to be that could have been 1996, 97, 98, or it could have been uh, later on talking to him around 2000, 2006, 7, 8. So it was between 90, uh, 96 to 2006 or 2008, around there. Um, uh, yeah, so I saw a bunch of snakes by his trash cans over here in the corner of the house. And I grabbed the shovel and I started chomping the heads off. And they kept moving. And so it makes sense now. Um, that though the beast is dead, they're still moving. Okay. The head's cut off. Meaning the head, the head is cut off. Meaning the leadership. Meaning uh, power. The power, is, the power is gone for the beast. I cut the heads off myself. They're still moving though. But they're not doing nothing. They're just squirming around. And so that's what happened in the dream. The bodies were just... The heads, I chopped the heads off. And the there was a thousand... There was at least a thousand snakes. Thousands of snakes. And they were just squirming around. Wiggling. As normal. But nevertheless, the heads are cut off. Meaning they have no power. And they probably have no brains, I guess. And so... These are a bunch of snakes coming to the woman, okay, using women to get to the man, okay. They say, don't worry. They they say probably they have the secrets to heaven. This guy, is, this guy has, they probably say this guy has keys to the kingdom because his name's the disciple. And this guy has this, all right, and it's not true. I have the keys to the kingdom. I'm the one who treaded over the serpents and scorpions. I did Luke 10, 19. Uh, a long time ago, I've been doing Luke ten nineteen uh, since two thousand uh, since nineteen ninety six. I've been doing Luke ten nineteen since uh, nineteen ninety six. So uh, since I went back to church at seventeen, eighteen. So Adam was nine hundred and thirty, but he died. Okay. So Satan's a liar. These guys are lying snakes. So just don't just ignore them. Uh, you're a slate. Uh, you're earthly, earthly bodily. You're you have to obey. Uh, but spiritually speaking, their heads cut off, and they're a bunch of corpses wiggling around. Okay. I'm just going to um, talk about this again uh, because they're doing dementia witchcraft. So uh, let me just retrace my steps. And um, I was telling you about the dream and I cut off the heads and they're still wiggling around. Okay. And they're moving, but they're dead. They have no power. Uh, Luke 10 19. I've been doing that since 1996. And. Um, trampling over s snakes and scorpions ever since 1996 and with power of the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues um we could probably talk about that that'd be a good thing uh, let's see Luke 10 19 um they claim I also said was saying they claim to have access to heaven but they don't cause I have it and the beasts don't have it cause they're dumb they're the beast. They're the ones who, these are, the beast leads you to hell, I lead you to heaven. Okay? The black and white can't understand this. They cannot comprehend it. They stick their head in the ground like an ostrich. They stick their ostrich head in the ground and they refuse to acknowledge the facts and the words of Jesus that says you cannot serve Satan and God. Okay? And we could type that in, I guess. Okay. 
Okay, so this is what they do when we preach. When we preach, when we tell, when we tell the world, you can't serve Jesus and Satan. This is what they do. They, they all, they just all of a sudden, they can't hear us. They stick their head in the ground. This is what the ostrich. The ostriches do this. They bury their head in the ground. Okay. Because they do not want to admit that you cannot. You cannot serve Jesus and Satan. And many of them know, and they're just trying to drag everyone to the wrong Jesus. Okay. So, they use craftiness. They use letters. They try to use letters. But it's not in the letters. Um, it's in the Word of God first. Then God will give us letters. Okay, so let's go to Jude 1 4. And just read the King James. I like the King James in this one. And for <laughs> they said, uh, preachers at church in the Aztec theater, in the Azteca theater, better be there. And the preacher used to read the King James. Uh, some of them. Some of them knew King James. Some of them. For there are certain men, Nephilim. There are certain men, Nephilim, who crept in unawares. Certain men have crept in unawares. Who are they? The rulers. The mob. They crept in everywhere. Who is it talking about? Who crept in everywhere, brothers and sisters? Who's in the school? The mob. Okay, who who is ruling over the people? The mob. Okay, the Moab, black and whites, checkers, okay. So they have a system that allows them they have a system that allows them control and power. And now even more so, they have the system of gassing and zapping and doing uh I guess coming to your house and to your family and doing whatever they want with a knocky knocky attitude as if God's not going to set free his people okay for there are certain men who crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation of hell ungodly men God already knows them they're ungodly men because they claim to be gods so therefore they're ungodly because there's only one God. They turn the grace of God into their own lasciviousness. They go, they, in other words, they sold their soul. It could be the bus driver. It could be the school bus driver. It could be the train conductor. It could be a bunch of people everywhere sold their souls as to just have access to boys and girls and to everybody. Okay. The, so in other words, they turn the grace of God or they exchanged it. They exchanged the grace of God and to go after their own lasciviousness, selling their souls to Satan, to have access to boys and girls and to whatever they want. Therefore, they made their oath to Satan and the false gods, and they denied the one and only Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ. It's right there in front of our faces. Uh, New American Standard for certain people have crept in unnoticed, those who were long before, God bless you, uh, not them, uh, for, certain, uh, for certain people have crept in unnoticed, those who were long beforehand marked out for this condemnation, ungodly men who have exchanged, let's look for that word, the grace of God for their indecent behavior. Let's look for exchanged. If anybody got that in here. Changing it literal. And for certain men came in stealthily, those having been designated long ago unto eternal condemnation, punishment, and hell. In other words, God knew. God knew in advance who these guys are. Lovers of themselves. And maybe Satan and demons and hell and pain and torture 
they they probably like this stuff. Okay. So if ever if ever you ever boys and girls, brothers and sisters, if ever you ever wonder why you ever wonder why these people don't repent? If you ever if you ever wonder why, how come how come it continues? Why do they continue preaching that Japanese Jesus Antichrist? Why do these guys keep claiming to be beast kings and Satanist rituals? Why do they continue to be blaspheming, claiming to be gods? Why do they allow the world to call them this as well? Why do they partake in this? Because it was because it was already predetermined. They exchanged the grace of God into their own sensuality and denied the one and only Master, Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay. So, they took it and they exchanged it. So that's the best word. And that's what's going on. It's not, they're not, in, they're not church people, okay? It's not like, um, like a cult would be like this. Um, another revelation would be a cult of a, a pastor who claims to be the king who sleeps around with all the congregation in all the churches in the world. That's a cult, and that would be also, um, you can apply this to that. This is all, That also qualifies for this Jude chapter 1 verse 4. But right now we're talking about Satanists, not churchgoers. Okay. Uh, maybe one of them goes to church. Maybe one of them goes to church, but and who cares? He's still Satanist. Okay. Because they go against God's word. Okay. They're liars. Um, they blaspheme the real king and they blaspheme the Holy Spirit. They persecuted the Christian church in the pandemic. Satan ran amok during the pandemic. And God in heaven and God was watching the whole time. And still, they're not repentant or sorry for it. They're not, re they're not repentant or sorry for all the Christians that are gone. They just want to be on Instagram worshipped. Imagine that. Somebody who annihilated Christians. A free-for-all. And, and now, with no remorse, is coming for my crown, the real king of Israel, the born-again Christian. It, if somebody annihilated a whole bunch of Christians in the pandemic of gangsters, knocky knocky, they went knocky knocky and all the Christian gangsters and all the they probably rounded up all the Christian gangsters, knocky knocky, got rid of them, they got rid of a whole bunch of Christians and now they're not even remorseful and they want to come for my crown now. Okay? So these are ungodly people who already got new in advance. Um, as it says, they exchanged, they exchanged the gospel and for their own lasciviousness to live for their own lasciviousness and they denied the one and only true God, Jesus Christ the Savior. Okay. Where can we find this? That there, where can we find this? Where can we find this in, ta, in Torah? Where can we find this in the Old Testament Tanakh Torah? In the Law of Moses? Where can we find this, brothers and sisters? Where can we find these men who are, who are God already knew? God already knew that they were going to go to hell. And he's just going to use them as the Antichrist. Prophecy. God's going to use them to fulfill prophecy and let the whole world... Uh, worship and just let's just get it over with use anybody you know what I'm saying if they if they want to be dumb dumbs and if they want to be dummies and they want to be false god dummies antichrist crash they want to be car crash test dummies you know what I'm saying and they go to hell after after the world crashes whatever who cares it's going to be somebody God is going to use anyone as a Judas okay God is going to use anyone as a Judas to betray Jesus and to point the world to a fake Jesus. It's going to be somebody. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the good thing is, um, I'm glad. I'm glad that I know who it is, so I could tell you. I could tell you that no, these guys are not gods. These guys are not. 
these guys aren't, you know, worth worshiping. These guys aren't worth worshiping. Not that I, not that I've seen. Okay, so I'm glad it's, I'm glad it's right here. I'm glad the beast is, the beast and false gods and false kings are right in front of me, practically. So I could tell the world that they're not worth worshiping. Okay, so where is this at? We're looking for uh, someone who was designated long ago, somebody who was preordained by God for condemnation. Uh, beforehand, they were marked for destruction by God, condemnation of punishment. We're looking for um, designated long ago. Okay, where can we find this at, brothers and sisters? Let's go to Genesis 6. Before the great flood and disaster. Okay. And with that, we're going to go to Matthew 24. We're going to go to Matthew 24. And as in the days of Noah. Okay. Because it's all pointing to the same time of the Roman Eagle. It's pointing to okay, false Christ. Matthew 24, 24, false Christ. Don't believe them. These are the tribulation days. And then you will see Ben Adam Yeshua, my daddy, your daddy. Shut up. You will see our daddy, Ben Adam Yeshua, in the heavens. Okay. And it says here, in verse 37, As in the days of Noah, will be in the day of Ben Adam Yeshua when he comes, our daddy. Okay, This is our daddy. They were eating and drinking, marrying, giving in marriage. God said not to do all this stuff. And then boom, the tsunamis, the lava rivers, the rapture. The two witnesses come. And it's hell on earth, and it's judgments on earth. And like we talked about yesterday, then you can see who's really God, that they're not gods. Because they can't stop the plagues. The people are going to beg them, please, please, you're a false god, please. Oh, please, false god. Oh, please, false god, stop the plagues. Oh, please. And they're not going to have no power over it. That's when you know that we told you the truth. So where can we find these, where can we find these men? Well, let's go to Genesis 6-1, and here is Adam, ancient man of Noah. He begins ministering. He begins piercing the hearts of men with the word of God. He begins swinging the sword of the Lord as the king, as uh, the knight in shining armor. Prince Charming comes with the charming stone of Zechariah 4. Gen, 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 roche, ben. I come with the graces and mercy, Cinderella, and Cinderella, Cinderella, and the poor, actually it's a poor prince and the rich, rich queens, uh, many of them. And poor, poor queens too, poor princesses. Uh, he begins the ministry. He begins penetrating them with the sword of the word. Uh, the word of God is alive. He puts the living word of God in them. Adam multiplies greatly in the face of the earth with the salvation daughters and makes them born again. Yalad, Ad, Lahem. And so... Uh, also with sons of God born again daughters of God these are all called as Apostle Paul says my children sons and daughters of Adam made them born again he takes the best of them Tobia and he takes the best he took them as wives from being called from the beast and anyone which he chooses I choose God's chosen I tell him you're God's chosen God put you here uh, God's daughters God put you here for greatness to rule we're going to go king. We're going to go king it. He says, Adam is Malek Shalom 120. Adam is Noah. Adam is Moshe. Acharon, Duran, Noten, Ruachaya, Siddhaka, Yeshua. In 120 is right here. And my spirit will not strive against mankind. My spirit does not strive against Adam, Duran, either. Okay, that's going to be in verse uh, 9. Sadiq, Bidor, Duran. Okay. The door of the ark. St. Louis, shout out to St. Louis, Missouri, in the ark, and the door, the gateway. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're bringing in, we're bringing the Chayas from the Behemoth. Okay. 
뭐이 뱅이는 디야 The door to the ark of salvation It t e b a s i n a k a y a s h u a Kadash Kadasha Kadashim s a k i n Okay, I'll just get it in a while. That's not, I'm, I don't want to go off topic. Okay, but we're talking about the man who crept in. Okay, so Adam's making everyone born again. We're speaking the blessings and the blood of Jesus, spreading the blood of Jesus in the waters everywhere, passing out the bread of life. Uh, he says that Yehovah does not strive against Adam, but he's not going to strive against mankind forever, but destroy it. He does not strive against me because God is on my side. Kadam Yaakov, Shada Im Elohim, in Genesis 32 uh, 28. I fight with God. And he is the preacher. He is the preacher of Bashad, b a b a s h a d Tob Shalom y e s h u a And his days, his number is 120. Malek Shalom, BibleNumbersForLife.com. And Moses, who takes the people out of the beast of slavery. Okay, and daytime. Adam, Noah, daytime. Next verse. So there you go. Who was predestined before old? Me Olam from heaven. Me Olam means from heaven. Who was predestined for the condemnation of punishment? Who did God know? Who did God know in advance would fall? Whoever takes the bait. It's like this look. Who are the Nephilim? Who are the Nephilim? Who are the black and white Nephilim? Whoever, whoever they are. Whoever took the bait, sold their soul for pleasures. In Jude 1.4, for the lasciviousness, they exchanged the grace and the gospel of Jesus Christ and denied him as copper. And they declared their own way of salvation. They declared their own way, which is... Uh, Romans 10.3 Paul also tells us in the letter to Romans God bless Rome, God bless Italy um, He says They're ignorant to the righteousness of God Seeking to establish their own righteousness They did not submit to God's way of righteousness okay. Who are these Nephilim? Who are these that God is using to take the bait? Who are these brothers and sisters? And the ones you sold your soul to and I bought you back. Those guys, the ones who took the bait. They took the bait of Satan. Just like Adam and Eve in the garden. Satan came, hey, I, and he came to Jesus too in the wilderness. He said, bow down to me. I'm gonna give you kingdoms of the world. And these guys don't even have kingdoms. All they have is Instagram, sideways, all, all is subliminal. It's all subliminal. You know what I'm saying? And it's all subliminal. That's the worst part of it. I don't see nothing great. I see nothing worth anything on Instagram as far as going to hell for. Okay. All right. So, who are these Nephilim? The ones who took the bait. The who are the... The false gods, okay. The false gods who took the bait, okay. Those are Nephilim, the false gods, the false rulers, the ones, the ones who continue their mission. The the ones that say they don't need a cosigner, the ones who say that um, they rule the world. Okay, those are the Nephilim. Because they cannot comprehend the Bible. You understand? We understand. We, we get the gospel. We, we get the message. The message of God. The message of Christ Jesus. Of salvation. The whole work. We understand all of it. But they don't. They don't get it. That's, that's, like, a, that's like teaching a lizard. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's like trying to teach a snake. Like trying to teach a Nephilim and a lizard to, to read and write. It's not going to happen. They're always going to be 
declaring themselves as gods. Okay, uh, Nephilim, who were, uh, who have come, they have come into the earth in the day of the in the times of the days. They also, uh, in the in the latter days, surely those who came in, <laughs> those who came in, those who snuck in stealthily, right there. Those who came in, okay, these were, these were God's creation. It declares these were created by God. Okay, they came to the daughters of Adam and mankind. Okay, they, they tried to birth demons. They gave birth to, they tried to have babies with satanic rituals. And they tried to give birth and curse uh, the world but it only God as every soul comes from God uh, as King Solomon says in Ecclesiastes uh, every soul goes back to God uh, not every soul but all of God's people um, these people have been trying to these people have been trying to breed demons that's why they do trauma that's why they traumatize us that's why they abuse us and their whatever children, and they do all this to traumatize us, because they're trying to they're trying to trauma, will make you hateful, and bitter, and that's their science to demons. Okay, so when you have abusive parents, they were abused. It's trauma or it's demons or both. Okay, and this is what they're, they're this is what they know. Okay. So they do the science as basically how to put demons in people. So how do you how do you stop the demons? You just keep praising Jesus. You just keep praising God that that He died for you. He died for your sins. You're going to heaven. Okay. So uh, these guys can't go to heaven because they're the abusers. Okay. So the there's there's girls or God's daughters out in the street. There's there's God's daughters in the street. There's God's daughters being abused by these guys. All this. And these guys are claimed to be the watchers. They claim to they claim to be the watchers. They claim to be the holy righteous. They claim to be all these things. Okay, but they can't go to heaven because they work evil. Okay. They work evil and they try to traumatize us to breed demons. They're trying to put demons into us by raping, raping, raping people. And both sides, men and women, they rape the men, they rape the women, they rape girls, boys. They do all this abuse to put demons in us. And it's, it doesn't work no more because now we know the gospel. Okay? Uh, but there, yeah, it's still, there are still some people in the world who are, uh, who are hating God. There are people in the world who are hating Christians. As... Uh, as when people kill Jews, when people kill Jews and Israelis, uh, as Hitler, and carry a cross. So if they carry a, if they carry a cross, and they kill Jews, the Jews think the Christians do it. So 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 Jews blame Christians. They even their rabbis. Some of their rabbis go on YouTube blaspheming. Uh, what's his name? Um, singer. Tobia Singer, Tobia Singer or something. He's all over YouTube every single day blaspheming Christians. He doesn't teach no. He doesn't teach Tobia Singer. He doesn't teach no teachings. Every day he just blasphemes Christianity. Okay, so, um, <laughs> okay, so they're Jews, and he's he's helping spreading the hatred, by the way. And so there's Jews who hate Christians. Because they think they call they think Hitler was a Christian. So somebody's got to tell Israel, Hitler was not a Christian. He was of Rome, the Roman Eagle. Okay. He was connected to Rome, the Roman Eagle. Okay, he had the Roman Eagle. Not he was not a born again Christian. Okay, so, and, and you know it's true, because you got the Roman Eagle in Jerusalem again, and you like it. And you got the Roman you had the Roman Eagle who destroyed the temple in AD 70 okay so it wasn't 
born again Christians, it was the Roman Empire and Hitler, Nazis. Okay. All right. So, um, don't get sucked into this, so you don't get mixed in with the Nephilim. Okay. So um, they try to breed demons through trauma, torture, and trauma. They try to breed demons in us. Okay. They're trying to continuously attack us, continuously abuse us, continuously to turn us into one of them, Nephilim lizards, okay? And so, for them, they prevail, they prevail, okay? These are mighty ones who prevail because there's many of them. Uh, also meaning tyrants, they're tyrants, they're dictators, they force their way they force their way into your family. They force their way into your marriage. These people force their way into your family and your marriage. Okay? And they take they take hold of your kids. They take hold of your wives and your, your husbands. They do whatever they like. They're like barbarians. Okay? Uh, so, those, it says, these tyrants of which from of ancient times... Of heaven of ancient times of heaven these men uh, were only caring about the name of Babylon okay Genesis so much like Genesis 11 they only care about their names they don't praise Jesus Christ of Nazareth what do you see on Instagram let's go look at it these are Nephilim they only care about their names let's go look at it brothers and sisters let's go look at Instagram who are they praising uh, they're not praising Jesus. He's trying to be an American. Japanese Jesus is trying to be American. Japanese Jesus is trying to be American. They're praising Japanese Jesus and blaspheming America. They're blaspheming the United States of America. He's never been to the fortress. I've been to the fortress. He's, he's a liar going to hell, Antichrist. Okay, so let's just look at it. And what are they glorifying on Instagram? Okay. Is it Jesus? Trying to scoop me up like a collectible? No, it's not Jesus. No, it's not Jesus. Michael Jackson, no, it's not Jesus. God bless his soul. No, it's not Jesus. No, okay. So we don't see, we don't see no Jesus. We don't see no, we don't see no Jesus. All we see is a fake a Satanist trying to be an American. Uh, the truth behind that is they're they're a global citizen now. So let me show you this now. Now let me show you this. A global citizenship of concerts, okay? Okay. So let's just look at let's just look at this. So what is Babylon? It's worldwide. Okay. Babylon is worldwide and Babylon only cares about his own name, Genesis eleven. They don't worship Jesus, okay? So this is this is what they've been promoting for probably seven years at least. Okay. Global citizenship. That's that is the stage for the Antichrist. Well pray I praise Jesus that it's manifested. Okay. I praise Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the real God who's not here yet. He's coming. But as you can see global citizen is not an American that's why you don't have rights that's why they gas you and zap you that's why they got you that's why they got all these people for money and for fame they got all these girls on Instagram for clouts they're trying <laughs> they're trying to represent the American flag again they're not Americans 
They're Babylonians. They sold their soul. They're trying to become American again. The snake, the snake, the snake is trying to be an American. <laughs> Boy, tell you, you sold your soul to Babylon, buddy. You're not an American. You're not an American. God bless America. Yeah, I'm an American. I'm, and I'm your speaker, America. I'm your speaker. Uh, you're a Babylonian. You're a babbler. You're a global citizen, buddy. You sold your soul to the to the masses and to Satan. So this is how this is how much of a continuous liars they are. They're trying to rip the flag now. Hell no. You're going to hell, buddy. God bless America. I'm your speaker, America, the speaker, and I'm not tied to the Roman Eagle. They trying to they trying to rip that flag. Uh -uh. Don't don't even try to don't try to come back. Don't try to come back here. You're a Babylonian. You're a global citizen. So let's let's look at let's look at these uh, global citizen concert pictures. Okay. Global citizen concerts. There you go. There's one. This is what they've been promoting. Okay. They're they're promoting Babylon. Okay. So that's not that's a non-American. A global citizen, that's why they zap you, that's why they gas you, that's why they got access to you guys, because you, you waived your rights as an American. You waived your constitutional rights, you waived the Bill of Rights, you waived the amendment, and you waived the Declaration of Independence. You waived your American citizenship to become a Babylonian when you took your oath to the beast. When you did your oath to Satan through the Japanese Satanists, through the Japanese police officer trying to be American now again, Hell no, you're a devil. And you sold your soul to nighttime and, and not to Jesus. You sold your soul to fake angels. You you sold your soul to the citizenship of the world of Babylon. Okay. That's what you sold your soul to. I bought it back. God bless it. But I'm just saying, uh, I got to preach the sermon. Okay. So, Babylon is the world, it's the world religion. You got a world religion, you got a world cult. You got an international cult on your hands. Not me. I ain't touching it. The Bible says don't touch it. I don't touch that unclean thing. But uh, for those touching it, you got you got Babylon on your hands. You're not an American, bro. Don't be blaspheming, bro. Don't be trying to don't be trying to run back to the American flag. You're a global Babylonian until Jesus comes. God bless you, I love you. Uh, okay, don't be trying to run back and rip the flag of America when you're a global Babylonian. Stop it. You're a lying devil. You're not an American. You waived your rights. Okay, so this is what they're using all the celebrities for. They're using all the performers to promote Babylon. This is what they're doing on Instagram. Now I caught, listen, I preached it. I preached it. I've been preaching it. I posted pictures. And what do you see? Oh, no. Oh, no, we didn't do that. Oh, no, we didn't do that. No, we didn't do that. We're Americans. No, we're, no, we no, no. We don't worship the eagle. No, we're Americans. You see how they, you see how they're trying to, you, they're trying to, they're trying to undo what they did, but they can't undo it. Only I couldn't do it. Only Adam Moshe Al-Kharon Dururan has the remedy. And they try to put on yoga mats. The Repuel, Adam, and Adam Mondoro, and Yechesikyo Nabiya Mek Beraka Bika, Nebua Repua Yeshua Chaya, Seraka Kadash. I have the remedy. And what did they do? They put on a yoga mat. The Repuel. Do you see? It's Babylon. Corporate Babylon money, fame, the name, those who love their names, right here. Me'olam Enosh Enosh Hashem. These are men pre predestined by God, cursed by God, because they hate God and they love themselves and they worship their own names. Okay. They worship their own names. Or they make up names. 
and they're and they're trying to run back and be an American again. Nope. No, no, no. The beast, the beast is global. The beast is global, and the beast is Babylon, and the beast is international. You're not an American. Oh. Okay. And on uh, even if uh, it doesn't really matter because even as an American. It, it doesn't really matter because I mean, let's just say, let's just say, uh, okay, so he's gonna go and change your paperwork. He's gonna go and he's gonna go and cancel Babylon International. Let's just let's just say they start changing the contracts or start start re uh, renegotiating. They're strengthening the covenant, as nine as it says in Daniel nine twenty seven. He starts strengthening the covenant, starts re renegotiating covenants. Let's just say that. Uh, it still doesn't matter because you're in a cult. You're still, spiritually speaking, if they changed, spiritually speaking, let's go to Daniel 9.27. Spiritually speaking, if they renegotiated their contract and try to clear their names, let's just say, it says right here, in the Giborim, Higaber, Beritz, Rabin, Shebua. Let's just say this Giborim, Nephilim Giborim, starts reworking this covenant. And he's trying to make everyone holy. He, let's just say you can't get holy by paperwork because Paul and Jesus says so. It's not by the ink, it's by the spirit. It's not in the paperwork. I already canceled the paperwork for them, so there's no point in doing that. When I already saved their soul, Ruby Rosha already, already said Ben Adam Yeshua. I already said Urubi Rosha Ben Adam Yeshua, Eruah Hakodesh. I already said Maya Chaya. I already said I already are already blessed it. So, but in the case that anyone ever tried to rework a covenant and to make people Americans again, because I called them out on their Babylonian Roman eagleism, they're still Babylon. They're still Babylonian. Why? Because it's who you worship. It's who you worship, buddy. Buddy. It's not in the paper, buddy. Buddy. You're not an American citizen. You're a Babylonian false god. And it doesn't matter the paper no more. The paper don't matter no more. Because it's who you worship. You worship yourself. You're a false god of Babylon to the worst hell ever. And those who are not chosen by me are God. And who got... My chosen or God's chosen, He put them here for me. Uh, but those who are not chosen by me and God, okay, uh, those who are not chosen, those who are just uh, the beast worshippers to perish, they're not Americans. Even if you overturn their Babel, even if you overturn their covenant paperwork or whatever it is, they're still Babylonians, not Americans, because. We Americans are Christian, born again Christians. We're prophetic, spiritual wind talkers. We're ancient Americans, and we're born again Christians of the covenant of God. And I bless America, and I don't bless Babylon. Babylon falls, baby. Revelation fourteen, it falls down. I don't bless Babylon. Hell no. You worship, you worship, no, you worship some fake Jesus. You're Babylon. You fall a Nephilim, no fall into. Sheol Tehom Eshkadol. Okay. They fall into the great fiery pit, the abyss of great fires. Do you wanna be you wanna be God for a few days? You wanna be God for a few years? You wanna be a false god? I don't recommend it because it's not worth the eternal fires of God's punishment. You think it's worth it? He must not be a believer in Jesus then. There's no there's no real believer. Except for Satan and demons. Except for Satan and demons who have seen Jesus. There's no there's no real believer that would ever continue to do a nonsense. Uh, someone like Paul the Apostle, okay. Like um uh, unless their heart was seared, unless they're chosen for wickedness. Like Pharaoh, like these guys, the Nephilim. Okay. Uh, so, these guys were forever, 
like Farrell, like I said, Farrell, hard, his heart was hardened. His heart was hardened. These guys are hardened. They refuse the gospel. They continue in their Babylonian false god. And they're trying to run back to the American flag. Ha 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 ha. That's hilarious. You're not American. You're a Babylon, dude. Chee hee hee. You're a Roman eagle. You're a Roman eagle puppet. You're a crash. You're a car crash test dummy. You're a Roman eagle worshiper in your police station. And you're a Babylonian false god that you claim to be Jesus. Hell no. It says here. As he, these Giborim Nephilim, strengthen the covenants with these people, they're strengthening them uh, for the weeks, and they had already stopped the sacrifices. Uh, they are tied to the wings of abomination of Roman Empire, Babylon, and Adam Duran Kala. He marries his wives, Hosea 1 and 2, Aindelet, Doors Generations, Kadashain. But it is determined that. Uh, desolation is poured out upon the desolators so uh, the desolator are those who are leading you to hell and false gods so they know what they're doing but they're bipolar Here, here's the issue we have they're bipolar they want to be righteous holy king Adam Andrew Duran is still my name but they but they have to work for Satan too and that's impossible uh, both of those are impossible. You can't work for Satan and lead people to hell and escape hell. And you can't be Adam and Durant Duran because that's me. And you're not Jesus because that's Jesus. So be yourself. And if he would if he would have just been himself, if, if these guys would have just been themselves, been happy in salvation, none of this would have happened. But it is happening. So it must be, it must be God. You know what I'm saying? It must be God. So desolation is poured out upon the desolators, uh, those who purposely drove God's children the wrong way and led people to hell. Okay. What's my time? One twelve. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Okay, so... This is what they're tied to, and this is what they're not escaping. Don't run back to the American flag, buddy, because you're a global puppet. <laughs> Don't run back to American flag, buddy. You're a global puppet. See the big fat O? See the, <laughs> see the red Japanese O? You see the international, you see the international global citizenship of Babylon? You see it? Yes. All these concerts they've been doing since, shoot, I don't know, 2018 probably. Let me see. I think since before 2018. Uh, this one's 2018. They've been doing this for six years, dude. Z seventeen. Two thousand seventeen. Look at this. They've been they've been ha they've been using these performers for the mark of the beast. Two thousand seventeen was when my daughter started school and I knew the beast was here for sure and everyone got chipped. Two thousand seventeen. Two thousand what does it say? Was this two thousand sixteen? Look at O's and gray backgrounds. Look at this. 2016. Eight years. Man, they've been going, they've been doing this for eight years and they're trying to run back to the American flag. What's this? 2015? Nine years? Dang. They've been using, they've been using. They've been using these people for nine years. Jeez, let me try. 2015? I didn't even hear about this. Is this 2014? 2014? 10 years? 
Dang. And they trying to, and this guy trying to run back. This guy is 10 years, these guys are, these guys are more than 20 years deep. The gang, uh, the gang mob of the police department. They're more than 20 years deep in this. Uh, this guy, he's at least this long. Gotta be 10 years deep in this. Trying to escape, leading people to Satan and now trying to become, now trying to be American. Hell no. You're stuck as a Nephilim because you're a liar and you're still claiming to be me. 2013, 11 years. Dang. 11 years they've been promoting this beast. Oh my gosh, 12 years. My daughter was born in 2012. Dang. These guys, you guys ain't escaping this shit. Uh-uh, you did way too much dirt. Way too much. 2011. I'm not talking about performers. I'm talking about the false gods. Okay, I'm talking about false gods. I'm not talking about God's anointed performers. Obviously, I bless them every day. Obviously, Metallica, Eddie Vedder, all the Beyonce, all the performers. Obviously, every day I bless freedom to you guys. And performers, and Rihanna, everybody, obviously, Green Day, everyone, Stevie Wonder, everyone performing. Uh, I gotta bless you and uh, tell you God is coming. Uh, I think it was, I think 2010. Yeah, you guys are, um, I'm talking about false gods and trappers to try to buy your soul. Okay. So, uh, this might be 2010. Let me see what this is. So far, I could trace it back. 2018. Um, I guess, is there a 2010 or 11? Is there, is there a 2011? Let me see. I don't know, it's 19. Okay, let's see. It was a 2012 fire. Crazy Horse Foo Fighters. <laughs> black Eye Key. Black Eye. Black Eye. What? Oh, the Black Keys. I thought I said Black Eye Keys. <laughs> the Black Keys. Uh. So, you know, you want to talk about the dream? <clears throat> we already did that video. Okay, so. Who crept in? Brothers and sisters, who are these men who crept in? Who is the ones, who are, who is the ones strengthening the covenant with Satan? Sending you on tour, giving you more tour dates, giving you more clout in sending a, a sending you like 10 20 or 100 fans and paparazzi they send you they send you some screaming fans and some paparazzi and walk you out of the building to a limo or to a party van and they make you feel and they give you better clothes like they're not letting you walk around in daisy dukes they're giving you a nice little dress you know they're trying to like they're trying to upgrade you you know what I'm saying they're trying to upgrade you as to be uh as to be, as they're trying to recruit God's daughters to be theirs. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to steal my queens as to be the queen of the beast with a dress, a hundred, probably like 20 to 50 screaming fans, paparazzi, and a limo or a bus, party bus or something, and a nice outfit, and, that's, and some tour dates or some shows. 
We're gonna, we're gonna keep. We're gonna make sure you get some shows. You know what I'm saying? That's called bribery. And according to Isaiah 52, it doesn't work like that. Not with money. Uh, so they're strengthening. They're trying. This is what they're doing. 927 Daniel. And these Nephilim Gibodim are trying to strengthen their covenant with Satan. And all the while, they're claiming to be American Christians while well, they do Satanism. Uh, the biggest hypocrite you are, the biggest hell you go to. Let's go to Isaiah for the two. Uh, now you can't serve Jesus and Satan, but that's impossible. Okay. Okay. So, here we are. Adam did on the fortress. He tells you. So, if you guys remember... When I started preaching this, Isaiah 52, and posting it, uh, this was um, Isaiah 52. Let me go get it. 2020-2021, and God told me what to say. God was telling me to exchange the beast for the Lamb of God, and with them, with the people. Okay. So let me go back to, and let me see if I can find it, if it's not deleted. Let me go to 2020. Uh, there it is right there. All right, so I did this 2020. See if there's any more. Yeah, there's more right here. June 2020, September 2020, June 2020. I started prophesying Isaiah 52 four years ago. Okay, guys. Um, January 2020. Uh, I was into Isaiah 52. Okay, so. Um, 2020 looks, it might be a night, it might be 2019, let me go type it in, but 2020 is good enough. Uh, 2019, yeah, I was in here. Yes, I was in here 2019 prophesying this. <sighs> yeah. 2000, January 2019. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Awake, awake, see on children. Clothe yourself with your strength in the joy of your salvation. Dress in your splendid garments of my righteousness. Jerusalem, holy city. For the uncircumcised, the unclean will enter you no more. Okay. And as you can see, I type for I type for emphasizing. I don't I don't do the Babylonian, whatever they think it is. Uh, anyways, and I'm not going to go back and start changing all my scriptures. I don't got time for that. Um, Adonai Elohim, that's good enough right there. Yeshua HaMashiach, good enough. Uh, so here I am, out of the complete Jewish Bible, prophesying Isaiah 52, where God was speaking. Uh, January 25th, 2019. Awake, awake, children of Sion, clothe yourself. In your strength, I got the garments of salvation and righteousness. Um, I've grown since then. That's what, that's the difference. Joy of my salvation was my revelation back then. Shake off the dust of the revilers and voodoo. Be in thrones, treasured people of Jerusalem. Loosen the chains on your neck. Loosen the chains on your neck. Get ready, captive daughters of Sion. Because thus says Adonai, sovereign ruler, you were sold for nothing, for no reason other than hatred, and you will be redeemed and saved without money. So, okay, so what are they working, brothers and sisters? Instagram is all based on money and fame. Ah, that's not it. Hi. That's not it. All has to do with billions of dollars. It has to do with fame, dresses, restaurants. See, it has to all do with money and dresses and things. 
a red bull idol, a red bull idolatry, worshiping the idol, a red bull, uh, those who call themselves the bulls of the beast, more knights like this, they're all false gods of the beast. Okay, so this has to do with money and fame. These girls want to be famous and uh, God bless them. God bless God's daughters. God created that. Um, God created us to to share our gifts and talents with the world. And in the kingdom, you will be famous. Uh, I'm the most famous under Jesus. And under... I'm the most famous under Jesus in the kingdom. Um, I'm right there. I'm right there just barely above... Barely above prophets and disciples. Barely because of the latter day. Only because of the timing. Um... But you guys are going to be famous in, in the kingdom. Don't worry about that. You're going to be so glorious. You're going to be so famous. You're going to have the best outfits. I'm going to send that to myself. And um, you guys are going to have the best outfits. You guys shouldn't... You guys shouldn't have to... Um, don't worry about... Um, the future... Because the future is going to, the future is going to be um, perfect. Okay, so um, it's about money and fame, as you can see. Okay, so that's not it. Because. I've been prophesying Isaiah 52 for at least five years. For at least five and a half years. And it says, thus says Adonai, verse 3. In verse 3, for thus says Adonai, the sovereign ruler, the owner of your soul and my soul and myself who work for him. You were sold for nothing in the trap. Okay, you've been in the trap so long and for no reason other than hatred against God you have been redeemed and saved without money okay so what's this what's what's on Instagram it's all corporation business it's all money see money celebrities money celebrities so that's not it hi Kazel God bless you And so, um, that's the difference. Okay, so, but other than that, uh, I'm just using this as a sermon. Um, I'm just using this as a sermon because you already know who bought your soul, right? You already know who bought your soul. Um, false gods, false angels, um, those are the darkness, nighttime of Satan, fake Jesus, you, the Antichrist, fake, fake Antichrist. Uh, I mean, the real Antichrist, fake Jesus. You already know who. You already know who to go to to sell your soul to Satan, right? Like you know your way to hell, right? Okay. So I bought you back and redeemed you. So, um, you know. But I'm just using it as a sermon. And so you already know who it is. You already know who you sold your souls to, and I bought it back. Okay, so, um, okay, so this is talking about he with the garments of salvation, Begeisha, Meil Sedaka, Bilbosho, Adam, Zehaduran, Min Balsara. He's awake, awake, and he's telling you to awake, awake, get ready for God to come. But first, you must put on your garments, okay? And I came back from the fortress with garments of salvation and robes of righteousness. Awaken, awaken, all children of New Jerusalem and Basion, and those of the dry place, and receive the waters from the well of Jacob, or the well of Yeshua. And Kadam Yaakov gives you drink, as we did yesterday. I gave you drink from the well of Jesus Yeshua. Okay. You're in a dry place. You need you need to drink this. 
and this is going to give you strength of the fortress it's going to fortify your soul okay i know how to fortify your soul okay i know how to secure it and fortify it because i did it to myself and um the trap is money okay uh, you guys got trapped you guys got trapped since you're probably kids and babies and then you got even more trapped because of money and fame and fortune okay uh me myself i don't have that problem because i was already fortified and praise god praise god for that i'm not judging you guys but i'm just testifying and giving witness i'm testifying and giving witness uh that i've been fortified for since i was seven years old okay and even as an adult i always said i'm not going to seek after fame or money or riches i'm going to do free gospel and lo and behold god uses me to be king and priest and five-star minister so awaken awaken children of Sion. put on the strength put on your uh, garments of salvation and robes of righteousness i have come from the fortress with word and i am a true disciple luke 14 was the word uh, which talks about the wedding feast okay Luke 14 is the word it talks about the wedding feast put on your garments of salvation beautiful uh, new Jerusalem people and my holy ones my holy ones you are holy and righteous now because not uh, and shall not any no longer uh, continue to come into you in the uncircumcised okay those without the holy spirit okay so these fakers who are trying to be me the ones that are trying to steal my letters the uncircumcised with no holy spirit they cannot come into you no more god's going to remove you guys from them okay these ones who are unclean they're polluted defiling penetrators they penetrated you they raped you they raped you they rape us they rape guys they rape girls they threaten the children. They pierce your eyes with the mark of the beast. Okay, all the government, Roman eagles, Satanists. They're trying to be Adam Dudon. Okay, they're not going to come into you no more. Those who are raping us and having sex with us, they're not going to do it no more. Okay, they're going to hell. Okay, let's go to, uh, so, go to verse 2, but let's go to Luke uh Let's go to Luke 14 real quick because so I mentioned the fortress and Luke 14 was the word so what is the word of the fortress what what do we get from the fortress brothers and sisters what do we get from the fortress we get garments of salvation robes of righteousness I got the Lord of the ring uh, I have the ring I have the rod of rulership I have anointing I have word authority uh, the ring gives me authority to to give word and to speak authority okay uh luke 14 let's go to verse 7 jesus was speaking jesus christ of nazareth was speaking two thousand years ago this parable to those having been invited remarking and telling them uh, how they were choosing the best seats in the house okay so these guys choose the best seats in the house okay they went after the they they took the bait okay they said, oh, this is a throne. They ran for it. Oh, there's a crown. They ran for it. Oh, there's a pretty girl. There's a pretty boy. And they ran to it. They took the best seat in the house. Okay. But when you're invited to the wedding feast of God, do not take the first place. These guys are in first place, but the first are last. Do you guys know that? The first will be last. Okay. They're in first place, right? First will be last. Uh, Luke thirteen thirty. So we'll go to look. We're gonna go to Luke thirteen thirty after this, just to mark it. It's just a market. It says, and behold, these are last who will be first. And there are first who will be last. So, brothers and sisters, don't run, don't run to the front, brothers and sisters. 
be be like me be the little turtle i'm the little turtle i'm slow i'm just walking i'm in last place everybody's wa everybody's running in front of me like some hyena or some fox or some fast animal creature they're all like wolves running or whatever animal and they're running and i'm just walking in the word of god i'm just going from light to light as the word of god is a light to our path brothers and sisters behold the last will be first and the first will be last so they say they say that i'm last and i'm nobody but that means i'm first so when they say that i'm nobody they're saying i'm somebody by the words of by the words of the gospel okay so oh uh, there you go somebody's uh, somebody's worshiping the beast over there he says when you're invited to the wedding feast do not recline in the first place because someone more honorable is going to come and who was invited okay so that's me i came and removed everybody okay all these guys were claiming to be me as they told me in the sprint store that in chino they told me in the sprint store in chino in you know chino chino means asian they told me in, in chino in the sprint store that someone in baldwin hills was using my identity baldwin baldiwain and chino asian were using my my identity so that's called take it first place so what's going to happen with them they're going to last place which is hell okay uh not the girls but the guys so that's what they did i came the king the real king the real king awoke and god seated me in honor and who's gonna who's going to stop god from taking me to honeymoon think about it just it's just impossible okay this is the ridiculousness of the black and white nonsense of corporate babylon don't curse the name america bless america and all the nations okay uh, but corporate babylon <laughs> and who's gonna stop god who's gonna stop god nobody it's a fantasy okay so don't see don't see it's too late it's too late already for these guys they seated themselves in first place and in my seat as the story goes someone's been sleeping in my bed sleeping with my wife somebody's been sleeping with my wife somebody's been sleeping in my bed somebody's been touching my porridge and my food somebody's been claiming to be someone's been sitting in my throne someone's been sitting in my somebody's been sitting in my throne somebody's been wearing my crown do you remember the prophecy in uh, 2 Samuel 6, the threshing floor? 2 Samuel 6, do you remember the, the prophecy in 2 Samuel 6, the threshing floor? Notch and Nachon and Oziah and Adam came, Ad AD came. And the floor was already threshed. Somebody's been in my house. Somebody's been with my queens. Someone's been touching the Ark of my Covenant. They stumbled the whole flock into Satanism in the wrong way. The red bulls right there. There's the bull that you just saw right now of idol idolatry. They have an idol of a red bull. Okay. And they stumble all the ox of God. They arouse the anger of Jehovah. He strikes them down dead for their errors, and they all go to hell. Okay? False gods, false kings. Okay? Let's go back to Isaiah 52, 2. Okay? Isaiah 52, 2, and Luke 14. So they touched it, brothers and sisters. They sat themselves in honor. The real king is here. They're removed. I rule and reign over the souls of this generation. Okay, God has removed them and given me the place of honor. 
There's no one who's going to fight God or fight against us. You yourselves will see in the day that God comes with fire and glory from the north. Ezekiel 1.4 and Job 37.21-24. Every eye will see him. Okay. As John the Revelator says. Or the... Oh, let me see. And 1.7. Every eye will see him, Revelation 1-7. Okay. Brothers and sisters, every eye will see Jesus coming. You want to be a witness? Let's go. You want to see you want to see the fakers be destroyed? Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna to go to the porch. You can cast some stones down if you want. You wanna cast some plagues? Okay, no problem. I'll give you the slingshot, I'll give you the bow and arrow. I'll give you the rod of rulership. You can strike a volcano. I'll let you blow up some stuff. I'll let you cast some solar flares and blow up some towers and some buildings. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go witness the end of the world. Let's go witness. Let's go witness God's real king, Adam Andrew Duran. Bring judgment. Okay? Because what I say is going to happen, we're going to go and bring judgments when God gets here. Okay? And what they say is Babel. It's all uh, confusion of here and now, seating themselves in honor. They seat themselves in honor and they became first. They made themselves first place. Now, God makes them last place. They go to hell. Uh, so, that's what Luke 14 is, okay? So, I have the, I have this word from the fortress as the angels sang Luke, 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 Luke 14, and they took two steps to the left, and two steps to the right, and two steps to the left, that's four steps, by the way, that's four steps, two steps to the left, two steps to the right, and they were clapping their hands, Luke, 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 Luke 14, Luke, 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 Luke 14, and this was uh, something like April 11th and 12th, uh, 2018, I did Matthew 22 and Luke 14, um, four days later because I meditated on it. Uh, nevertheless, I woke up at six in the morning and this was the word from the angels of the fortress Oz. I went to Oz. I am Adam Dudon of Oz with the garments of salvation. And that's also confirmed in Isaiah 63, one. And I get married as a king, Isaiah 61, 10. We did that yesterday. So you got Adam, Hadur, Hadar, Duron, with the Bill Bolshel, Me'il Sedaka, Bill Bolshel, Melissa Villalobos, and Bege, and Bege, and Me'il Sedaka, and Bege Isha. Adam Duron of the fortress, not of Moab, but of Moda'ab, fright, frightful terror of the father. Okay. We're not of Moab, we're from Moda'ab. We're of frightful terror of the Father, okay? Spiritual big difference. It's a big difference. Terror is coming into the world. We don't, we're not here. Okay. Who is this who has come with red garments of the blood of Jesus from the fortress? Adam Dudan. Who is with Me'il Sedaqah, Bel Bolsho, and Begayasha? Who is this great one with power and authority? I am he who speaks through him, Mindaber, Yahuwah Yeshua. And he is in righteousness and mighty who multiplies and he saves salvations of Yeshayel. Odd. Adam Yehoshua. He marries. And he marries in Isaiah 1 1 and 1 2. Dabar in Dabar Yehoa Asher Haya El Yehoshua Adam Zehadur Ben Be'eri, the well of Jacob, the well of Yeshua. Be'eri Yeshua Ti. Be Ame of the days. Uzia, the fortress. Oh my God, Yatam, uh, the Lord's, the Lord's uh, blameless one, and all, also the Lord's sealer. Yatam Yachtam. I'm gonna throw that in there. Prophesy that. Elchaz, who has seized the kingdom. Melech Yehazikia Yehuda, who strengthens the people, who is a prophet, raises the dead bones. It is B Dabara, the B of daytime, and B B me Kimi. And that's her name. He calls us Beamy, Beamy Kimi. Oh, Beamy Kimi. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beam, 
I'm going to beam up Kimi to my spaceship. Beaming Kimi. Yada ba'am. I'm going to strike her with the arrow of love. Just kidding. Seriously. Um, I'm going to greatly multiply her to the Lord. Make her great. Multiply the people. Uh, ben Yishael. Yoesh. The sun witness. Ezekiel. Adam. Yechesekiel. Melech Yechesekiel. Yehuda. And... Ed Emunaman, Emunaman Ed, and be Yom Hamoshia, Yo Esh, of the day of fire. He is the king of Yisrael, the one who sees the fireball. That's the king. Hosea 1 1. This is the king, the witness. Ed, Ayin Delet, Adam Duran Ad, the witness of the fireball, Yo Esh, Ezekiel Vision, Meleka King. Nabi, the one who raises the dead, Ben Adam. He's the witness. What are the what of daytime? What are the odds, brothers and sisters? What are the odds that he is Kadam Yaakov Edarim of uh, the well of Yeshua? What are the odds that he receives words from God? What are the odds that he comes to from the fortress, Yehoshua to save Yeshayel? And Adam Zehaduran, what are the odds of that, brothers and sisters? What are the odds? What are the odds? <laughs> AD. What are the odds of AD? A son of the well of Jake, Jacob Yeshua, of days of the fortress, Ozia of the Lord. He is blameless by God and seals for God. He has seized the kingdom, Ahaz. He strengthens the people with words. Melech Yechesik Yehuda, Bimi Kimi, beams up Kimi to the spaceship, and he promotes greatly his people when the Son of God and God comes in fire, the King of Kings and King of Israel also. And so Tehila, he, he speaks his word, Yehovah Yeshua Ruh HaKadosh speaks into Yehoshua. He puts a word into me. In Dabar be Yehoshua Ad. He puts the word into me. And that's weird because that's what I've been saying. And he puts the word into my heart. He puts the Dabar be Yehoshua. Be Yehoshua. And he says to Yehoshua. Go and take for yourselves the wives from the harlot of the beast, black and whites. They're prostituting God's daughters and bringing them to false gods. And take the children. They're prostituting children too, apparently. And dash them into the rock. Marry these harlots. Uh, not harlots. Marry them out of the harlot and call them holy, righteous daughters. Marry them out of the heart of the beast. They are holy, righteous and in the earth, they have caused them from following after me. Hosea 1, 2. They are causing them from following after me. They're leading them astray. Great, great punishment for that. Uh, you want to see it in um, English? Let's look at one look at it in English. And just see what, what it looks like. It says the word of the Lord came to Hosha, son of the whale, days days of the fortress Uzziah, blameless of the Lord who seals. He has obtained the kingdom. He is he, the king of Judah, Israel, because he strengthens the people with words. It is he, a beamy kimi, beaming up kimi of days. He promotes his people greatly in the heavens. When the son and the father come in fire, the king the kings of Yisrael. Oh, Melechabods. E Melechabods, kings of Yisrael. The Melechabods come. Okay. And the Meleks, the kings come. The kings. And the kings come. And the kings come. And verse 2. And Yehovah, Yeshua, and began to speak it by Joshua and into Yehoshua and he said take for yourselves the wives 
take for yourselves the wives out of the prostitution of these guys, the beast, and the children, because the land has committed great harlotry by departing away from God. Right there, brothers and sisters. Let's try a new American standard. God bless America, the land that I love. Oh, Canada. The word of the Lord, which came to Yehoshua, the son of the whale, Kadam, Kadam Yaakov, Kadam Yaakov Edarim, of day's time of the fortress, Luke 14, he has the word. He is blameless before God and seals for God. He has indeed seized the kingdom of God. And Ezekiel, a, he is the king Hezekiah who strengthens the people with words. He is king of Israel, Judah, and during these days, and he strengthens the people, makes them very great, and promotes them into heaven. And the son and the father of the fire come, kings of Israel. Ow! Oh, and Yehoshua Ruhakadesh spoke uh, through Yehoshua, Hosea, Adam, Duran, Zehadur, Mimbosara. He speaks into him the word, and he said into him, Go and take for yourself the wives, and because of infant, I don't like that one. Uh, it's better of the harlot trees, the best word. The harlots of the beasts. Okay. okay, let's look at wives. Kimmy, beaming Kimmy, into the spaceship. Boom! Boom! <clears throat> beaming Kimmy into the spaceship. Take the wives and marry them because they're stopping them from following after me. And the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. So when they blaspheme, when they blaspheme the sands, they're blaspheming the promise and the blessing. And this is Babel who babbles. The promise and the blessing is always this word. Shall be as the sand of the sea. That means that's good. That's a good thing. And the number of the children of Israel, Adam Israel, Duran. And Kadam Yaakov shall be as the sand of the sea that cannot be measured or counted. It'll go on forever. It shall come to pass as he takes them and marries them in honeymoon in the place where it was said. And, and also, um, this is also to the promise of Yishmael. And they said, You were not my people, but you are my people, Araba. You are God's people, and you are coming in as Judah. And those who love God, Moshalem, Araba, and you are my people. It shall be said, you are indeed sons of the living God. And the children of Judah, right there, verse 11, I prophesied correctly uh, before I read it. Uh, you are indeed children of Judah. And the children of Israel shall be gathered together. Okay. And we, we have already been appointed ahead. And shall come up out of the land, and great is the day of the seed of Israel, who uh, I'm called a great seed for reproducing as the king, and to be restored because I put in the seed of the Holy Spirit. So it's poetic. It's a poetic. It's a poetic prophetic word. Uh, I put in the seed of God, so God allows me to put my seed in my wives. 
and he actually takes the king into his second heaven honeymoon because this world's going to be destroyed with plagues and it's better to and it's better to be in a better body a glorified body it's better to be able to multiply and become different creatures and make different types of babies superhero babies it's a way better plan it's obviously way better okay so we're going to verse we're going to go to okay let's just look at it <clears throat> Hosea 1 3, I think I have this. And so Adam Hosha went and took the daughters of God and wives Gomet, and because he is the D Balaim, Balaam to them, and they will conceive salvation babies. And Holy Spirit babies for him on nine. And they shall be numbered, your children of Israel, Koholi Sondi, more than the sand of the sea, with Yom Day, which cannot be measured or numbered, for they shall be many. It shall come to pass in the place where I said the Elion for the deers, and Shemash Labanas, Kadasha Inganet, it shall be to them. And you are, uh, are you not my peoples? A.D. Aindalet, eyes and doors. You are Adam's and true children of God from Chayaz. Uh, this is another revelation because that they told them they were not. They've been cursing God's holy. They've been cursing my five star queens. And the synagogue of Satan knew what they're doing. And they girls know what they're doing too. But they're free. No temptation shall overcome God's daughters and anointed sons. I bless uh, hip hop, R and B, Berakalion Shalom Shua, in Lechem Chaim, and Damim Chaim, Mahim Chaim, in Karashi at Sea, okay, and pop, in rock and roll. Everybody, God bless you. Um, and so they they told people that they're not God's people. That's not true. God's gonna take God's gonna take you, and He's gonna say, "You are my people. Are you not my people?" Okay. When God when God takes His people, and He confronts them and says, not confronts them, but when they meet God and He says. You who are not my people are now my people. Or, or in other words, you who they said were not my people. Right? It says... They said you are not my people. You are sons of the living God. Ami Atoms Bene El Chaya. You have been given birth to life. Verse 10. And it shall be that the number of the sons of Yishael are those that became born again in the days of Adam on Dodo Dudon. Freedom as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered and cannot be counted, and shall, and shall come to pass in the place where they told you, here in this place, here in this place they told you you were not God's people, but... Uh, you are my people, my people, you are Adams, okay, and it will be said to them, you are sons and daughters of God living forever, you are sons and daughters of life, 
Okay, from out of the from out of that. Okay, let's go to where we continue. And we read this one. And verse four called to him says He says Yahweh Yeshua he says he calls uh, to me the seed of God who places the seed of God within them Anuhawa Duran the small one Me'at Katan the small one and I'm going to avenge the blood of all the seeds of God in the house in the house of he who claims to be God I'm in the earth I'm going to avenge the bloodshed of my seed of my people in the house of those who claim to be gods or he who exalts himself Ye Yehus those who those who claim to be he those who claim to be he the gods the false gods he's going to bring down a vengeance and he's going to bring a Shabbat Hishbati he's going to put an end to their kingdom of their fake of their fake house of Israel uh, their temples of Solomon uh, he's talking about fake temples of Solomon he's going to put an end to it and Hosea 1 4 why you made Yehovah Shuru HaKadosh Eloha Ela Kera Shema Yisrael Yisrael ki ki adam hawachai duran adam me ad katan Yeshua hamashiach pakad ti at dame Yisrael al beit Yahu we ish pati we ish pati mamlekot beit Yisrael beit Meri. He said he's going to. He says he calls to his name Yisrael, and he says to him, the small schmalted one, he's going to avenge the blood of his seed in the house of, of those who claim to be him, and put an end to their kingdom of their temple, uh, Sheked, Sheked Beit Yisrael, uh, Hekel Shalomo, in the false house of Israel, the false temple of Solomon. Is going to smash it. We haya biho biyom hahu we shabarti at keshet Yisrael be a mek Yisrael. Oh, that's prophecy. He says, This is actually the plague. He says he's using. He says it shall come to pass in the day of him that he's gonna break you with at et. He's gonna break you with the bowl at Yisrael at Mech Valley. It actually says he's gonna break. He's gonna break him with the bowl of Yisrael. Be, be a Mech Valley guy. Yisrael the seed. Okay, I'm gonna skip. Let me see. I'm gonna prophesy. Is uh, I'm gonna wait on. Um, I wanna go post this one actually. I want to post Hosea 1 5 but I guess I'll I'll just continue prophesying we tahar od wateled yalad bat wayomed lo kera shema lo rachama ki lo osif od arecham at bet israel meri sheker hekel shalomo he and Nasha Aasha Lahem because the beasts these guys are fall guys this is sad these guys are fall guys fall guys of the beast system you know um, me I 
I don't have that problem. I'm not a part of it. And he conceives Adam Chava Chaz Duran, bears sons and daughters, and he says to him and to call the name of her, uh, name her Racham, Rachama, mercies of the womb, because they did not have compassion. Uh, because the beast was inter, because the beast was just all about itself, they didn't have compassion. So, the name is actually Rachama. Rachama is the name, and because they didn't have compassion, and Asif, and Asif Ad, and Adicham, and I give mercy, and he says I give mercy to the house of Israel, but the house of rebellion of the temple of Solomon uh, I take it away he blows it up and he, he removes them and blows them up he has mercy on the house of Israel us but the house of rebellion of, of the false temple of Solomon he blows it up and uh He smashes it. Eh, we et bet Yahuda, Arecham, Arechem, Arachem, we hoshat him, a be a hoa, a sure of Hakodesh, Elohim, Elohim, a we lo hoshem be keshet u be hereb be milchama u be susim u be parasim. Okay, so this is not to be confused with the plagues, for first of all. Uh, he's coming to save us by rapture. He snatched, he's coming to save us by snatching us. The deliverance, uh, the, the bow over here. Uh, the bow over here is uh, plagues. This is actually a rapture. So, uh, that's the prophecy. Uh, okay. Um, he doesn't need, God doesn't need violence to save people. He could just snatch them. Enoch was snatched. Elijah was snatched. This is what it's saying. Okay. Oh, so let me finish reading. In Aleph Tav, the plowing horns of salvation, Yeshua Mashiach, of the house of Judah, king, royal children, I have mercies and grace, tender mercies and compassion upon them forever. I'm coming to save them with Yahuwah and Yeshua, the Father, Son, and Ura HaKodesh and Elohim, the whole God is coming. I'm not going to save them. I'm not going to come save them by the bow or the sword and, and battle at first. Okay. I'm coming to snatch them. Okay. And so, and this one says, receiving Boris. So, okay, skip that. Uh, this one we already read. And they said, they called his name, not my people. They cursed your names. And these guys, Wyomed Kera Shemo Lo Ami. And he said, Kera, his name's not my people. He, he's he's not my people, Me Olam Nephilim. Uh, Nephilim, Me Olam. Um, uh, Me Olam Mishpat Awen. It is their, they've, they're already, they're the iniquity, guilty, wickedness, bait, meri, reshaim. Uh, they're tied into reshaim, wickedness, and rebellion. They have rebellious spirits. And he says, and he's not, his name is not my, lo ami. His name is no, lo ami. He calls them lo ami, not my people. Ki Adam. 
uh, he says, those who said you are not my people and not, um, he says, those who said they're not my people and I will not be a God to them. Okay. Those who, those who curse my people, I'm not a God to them. And he says, shall be the number of sons of Israel as a sand. We already read that. Gather the sons of Judah and the children of Israel together and, and appoint for themselves the head and Adam Rosh and Adam Ben Yeshua Allah and Rosh Echad with Alu and Min Aretz Ki Gado Yom Yisrael. And it says, Wednik Besu Bene Yahuda Bene Yisrael Yahda Weshamu Lahim. Roshechad. I had to pause it because a uh, bee said the helicopter over my house, making noise, disturbing the word of God. Wenik besu, bene Yahuda, bene Yisrael, and Yachda weshamu lahem Roshechad, and Adam Duran, Adonai Duran, Malak Shalom Yeshua Allah, Ben Yeshua Allah, Echad, and Adamani Katan Yeshua Hamashiach Yishi Moshi E. Sero David, Echar we alu min aretze kiki gado im yom bi yom Yisrael. We're going to gather what I just what I just prophesied uh, right here. And, um, and what I just prophesied right here. He's going to not. He's not going to bring war at first, judgments only, plagues, and this—that's what this means. That he's going to—he's going to save them by rapture, deliverance. Uh, that's what he says. Here it says, so confirmation. I just prophesied correctly, and so I'm going to gather the royal sons of Judah and all the sons and daughters of Israel together. And I'm going to play, and I'm going to put them under one head, okay? And they're going to come up here to the rapture from the earth. Kiki is great with autumn of daytime. He's the seed of God. And sh in other words, sh shut your mouth. You don't know nothing. I'm prophesying from God. Uh, this is what's going to happen. Uh, everything. S listen, the beast is the beast. Those who try to buy your soul are Satan. They're not God's king. There's no such thing as Satan and God. Would you like to go see it? Okay, let me show you. There's no such thing as Satan and God. They're lying devils. Okay. And you guys know this, but nevertheless, I'm going to type it in. Second Corinthians six fifteen. Where was that other one at? Mm -hmm. Let's go to hold on. Let's go to New Living Translation. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's let's do this one, a uh, literal and new living translation. And working together, we also urge you not to receive the grace of God in vain. Okay, but receive it for real. These guys are in vain vanity, meaning just for looks. They're the Satanists are trying to be Christians. It's all vanity. They're trying to look holy. 
and do not receive the grace of God. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the real power thereof. For he says, in the acceptable time, in the, in the season of acceptance and favor, I heard you. In the day of salvation, I helped you. Behold, now is the time and season of grace and favor. Behold, now was the day of salvation, placing no obstacle in anyone's way. Okay, so what do they do? They sabotage the ministry. They place obstacles. Satan, those are Satanists. They place obstacles in everyone's way so that our ministry is blemished. We place no obstacles in anyone's way so that the ministry is not blemished. In everything, rather, we are commending, um, rather we are commending ourselves as God's servants in great endurance. We have great endurance. We have tribulations. Listen, God's servants and God's servants have great endurance, tribulations, hardships, distresses, and troubles, beatings, imprisonments, and jail, and riots, and labors, and watchings, and fastings, and purity, in knowledge, and in patience, in kindness, in the Holy Spirit, with genuine love of God, in the word of truth, in the power of God, the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left hand, through glory and dishonor, through everything, whether they whether they profane us or curse us or bless us, whether in glory or dishonor, we continue the ministry through bad report or good report, we still preach. As imposters, they call us they call us fake, but we are the true ones, says Paul the Apostle and Adam Duran the Apostle. As being unknown, and yet we are made famous and well known. We didn't sell our soul to get famous, and yet here we are. We are unknown, we are not we are not those who care about names. We don't care about tours, we don't care about concerts, we don't care about money and fame and fortune. We are, we are unknown, not famous, and yet we got famous. As dying because they kill them, um, the Christians, and yet behold, we're still alive preaching. They killed Christians dying, yet behold, here we are preaching alive, hallelujah. As being punished by the beast, and yet we're not yet killed, hallelujah. We're being sorrowful, yet we're always rejoicing. Okay? We're always grieving, and yet we're always rejoicing. We're poor, we're poor, yet we are enriching many and making many people rich in the heavens. Having nothing, and yet we possess everything in the heavens. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, now let's go down here. Uh, do not become unequally yoked together with the unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness of the law of the beast? What fellowship has the light with the darkness of Satan? We have the light of life, and we are in the way, Darka Yeshua. And what harmony has Yeshua with Hashatan, the devil of demons? And what parts does a believer have with the unbeliever? What agreement has the temple of God? with false gods and idols. We are the temple of the true living God, and God has says, I will dwell in them, I will walk among them, I will be their God, and they will be my people. Therefore come out of their midst, be ye separate from the beast, says the Lord God. Touch not the beast and its riches, touch not the beast and its unclean voodoo and rituals, touch not the beast and their things they have to offer you, and then I will receive you, and I will be for a father to you, and you will be my sons and daughters to me, says the Lord God Almighty. Okay, uh, so this is how you know, once again, that how wicked the Satanists are. Okay, the rulers who captivate the people. They want to touch everything. They, it says right there, don't touch it. Okay, it says... As God's partners, we beg you not... No, I don't, I'm going to be careful with this living translation. Uh, uh, don't accept... We As God's partners, we beg you not to accept this marvelous gift of God's uh, kindness and in vain. For God says, at just the right time I heard you, and in the day of salvation I am helping you. Indeed, the right time, acceptable time is now. Today is the day of salvation. We live in such a way that we don't stumble 
okay and no one finds fault in the ministry everything we do we show we are true ministers of god we patiently endure the troubles and hardships and calamities of every kind we have been beaten put into prison or jail faced angry mobs worked to exhaustion endured sleepless nights and gone without food we prove ourselves by purity and our understanding our patience our kindness by the holy spirit within us and by our sincere love we have uh, faithfully preached the truth of god god's power is working in us we use the weapons of righteousness in the right hand for attacking the beast and in the left hand for defense against the beast and satan we serve god whether people honor us or despise us whether they slander us or praise us we serve god and preach we are honest but they call us imposters we are the true ones we are ignored even though they are well known and we live close to death but we are still alive we have been beaten yet we have not been killed a heartache and we always have enjoy we are poor but we give many spiritual riches to many people we are not owning anything and yet we have everything of heaven do not team up with those who are unbelievers how can righteousness be a partner with wickedness how can lights of life of god live in the darkness of satan what harmony can there be between christ jesus and the devil satan nothing how can a believer be apart with an unbeliever? Nothing. Okay, what union can there be between, between God's temple and idols and false gods? None. For we are the temple of the living God, as God said. I will live in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from among the unbelievers and Satanists and separate yourselves from them, says the Lord God. Do not touch their filthy despot, filthy demonic satanic ritual things everything you touch the money is filthy the houses is dirty the cars are nasty is all through satanic rituals so don't run to the american flag claiming to be blessed by satan because you have been blessed by god your riches are not in this world your riches are in heaven so stop with the images stop with the line of the images of social media and media stop with the lies of blasphemy your riches are in heaven everything you own today you got through satanic rituals it'll be destroyed hallelujah god is going to sink the ship of the earth okay stop playing with god that's not blessed your house not blessed your car is not blessed your soul's blessed Everything you got, you threw, you did through satanic rituals of the false god Satanists. Don't run to the American flag and defile it. Unless you're ready to represent Jesus Christ in Nazareth, then run to the American flag and represent Jesus Christ. Don't play games. Don't touch the filthy things of Satan. You know what you did to get it. Don't claim to be an American. You're a Babylonian witch. Don't claim to be an American, you Babylonian satanic witch. What you got is filthy, nasty. Don't touch it. Abandon it. Abandon Antichrist, Japanese Jesus. Abandon your riches. Abandon your mansion and cars. And then come to me and I'll receive you as my sons and daughters. And God bless your soul. God, I bless your soul anyways. But I got to preach. But I gotta preach. Don't play games on Instagram. Don't go get riches through doing satanic rituals and claim to be American blessed. To hell with those guys. To hell with them who told you to do that. I bless your soul, God's daughter. That's see, you know, that's enough is enough. Stop doing Satanism. And you're just like this, look. Stop doing Satanism and running to running to the name of Jesus and running to the flag of America. You're defiling the name of Jesus and the flag of America with satanic rituals. Do not associate the two, because God says don't. 
America is beautiful, full of believers. Canada, all the way to Mexico and South America, Christians, El Salvador, Christians, a lot of Christians everywhere. We are to be set apart from Satan. Don't mix it. Don't mix fake Jesus, satanic ritual workers with America, USA. We are blessed in going to the fortress of God and you are coming out of the fortress of Satan. Amen. We're not mixed together. We're not mixed. Okay. We are not mixed. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 through 18. We are not mixed with Satan. Got it? Got it. Who are the real ones? Let's read it again. Placing no obstacle. We place no obstacle before you. Your rulers did that. So that our ministry is not blemished. In everything, rather, we are commending ourselves as servants of God. In great endurance, with troubles and tribulations, in hardships, distresses, in beatings, imprisonments, riots and labors, watchings, fastings, and purity, in knowledge and patience, in the kindness and mercies in the Holy Spirit, with genuine love of God, in the word of truth, in the power of God, with weapons of righteousness for the right hand, holiness for the left hand, through glory, through glory and dishonor, we still preach and serve God. Through trash talking, slandering, or good report, we still serve God. We're not, we're not blown away by the winds of the waves. When they hate us, we preach. When they love us, we preach. We're not flip-floppers, brothers and sisters. That's how you know the Spirit of God is moving. John chapter 3, because he's born again of the Spirit of God. He preaches the Spirit of God. You don't know what he's going to say next. You don't know what he's going to preach. Because he's not controlled by the beast. You are. You run over there to the flagpole real quick. You roll, You go put on the outfit. You're controlled. I'm not controlled. I'm Holy Spirit, servant of God. Whether you hate me, I preach and I bless you. Whether you love me, I preach and I bless you. Okay. Whether they dishonor, whether they, whether they honor it or dishonor it, whether they speak bad or speak good, we are true. We are true disciples and apostles. We are not imposters. Okay. And I'm, I'm known, I'm famous, and I didn't sell my soul for it. It must be God's plan. Okay. I didn't sell my soul for this. I got famous God's way. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's go back. So, yeah, uh, we don't mix. We're not mixed. And the real ones endure. Okay. This is the real one. 2 Corinthians 6. Get it in. 2 Corinthians 6. Get it in. 